welcome back to our chick chats okay so today we're going to be talking about questions you should ask why dating and why you are married yeah these questions are very important it's good for you to know the view and opinion of your partner while you are married before married you know so it's good to ask some certain questions start to know the view of the person you are getting married to or the person that you are married to so let's get to the video i'm going to be telling you questions that are good for you to ask yeah so number one question do you like to communicate with your ex you know there are some people that find it okay to communicate with their ex-partners you know like the few are we are just ex so we are not enemies but there are some partners that don't find it funny so you need to ask your partner if you are okay with communicating with your ex or not number two are you okay with your mother-in-law staying or relatives it's not everybody that is okay with their mother-in-law to stay for a while so you need to discuss all of these questions if you are okay with your mother-in-law to stay around why you both are married number three are you ambitious you know someone who is okay with being a civil servant or who is okay wherever they are you need to ask questions you know or a woman who is okay being a housewife you need to ask questions are you an ambitious person are you okay where you are do you intend to be a, a millionaire because you can't marry someone who does not want to be a millionaire you first time that oh you're lazy you're not doing this why are you stagnant you need to ask all these questions and know the person's view if the person is interested in what you're interested in so if you marry someone who is not ambitious as yourself or who doesn't want to be an entrepreneur and you're not saying oh you need to do business and the person doesn't want it it's going to cause a lot of problem number five who pays the bills is it the man or the woman that pays the bills you need to know who pays the bills are you okay as a man paying all the bills alone or are you okay sharing your bills with your partner or are you okay with a woman paying your bills there are some men that feel intimidated when they are women women pay their bills and then there are some some men that want a woman to bring something to the table like sharing of bill so you need to discuss it number seven right i think number seven or number six do you like court marriage it's not every nigerian man that likes to go for court marriage a lot of african men they don't like to go for court marriage so you need to ask your partner if you are okay with court marriage before you intend to get married and then number eight you need to ask are you okay with sharing your phone password you know some of these things we don't discuss it ahead like is it okay for me to know your password is it okay for for your man to know your password if you don't discuss it ahead and you get married and you want to get have access to your partner's phone that time it becomes a problem because you are not doing it while you people are dating so you need to ask if it's okay for the both of you to share your password to your device then number nine you need to know your partner's love language you know the person's love language that's another question for another day do you even know what love language is so you need to know your partner's love language and deal with them according to, your, to their love languages because if you don't understand their love languages it's going to be a problem then number 10 if eventually you don't have kids right god forbid we are you okay with adoption are you okay with um surrogacy are you okay with um ivf or any other form of um, um conception then number 11 god forbid if a case if if there's a case being that um the mother is in complications and you need to choose between the wife and the child who are you going to choose are you going to choose a mother or you're going to choose your child you might see this particular one it's been irrelevant but i saw it a post on facebook recently where a man says if there's a case like that he's going to choose his child number 12 are you going to marry a second wife you need to discuss all of these things you know because your partner might be okay with polygamy and you as a woman might not be okay with polygamy so you need to discuss number 13 i think so if there's an issue you, are you okay with divorce you understand there are some people that don't like divorce and others divorce is normal for them so you need to ask your partner know the kind of view they have about divorce 
number 14 are you okay keeping late nights because if you if you don't discuss it and then you marry someone and the person start keeping late nights you start questioning you have to come back six o'clock you have to come back nine o'clock but you never had this discussion or you were okay with it you never questioned the person about it then number 15 are you okay with your partner being on social media like doing content creating youtube just like me i'm doing youtube now i need to ask my partner if you marry if he's going to be okay with me to continue doing my youtube continue doing social media stuff you know you should ask all of these things so that i know if we want to be together or if i have to stop it do you understand it's like when you marry now you're not come and say don't do this meanwhile we never had this discussion you never told me that you don't like this stuff number 16 let me not even number it again another question are you okay with um with the church that your partner is going to and if so are you okay with your partner going to a different church you go to a different church because some people maybe they were married in a particular church but afterwards like today in the church a man was so angry because his wife decided to go to Methodist church while he he goes to catholic church and whenever they call for family he's going out alone or his wife is in another church so he's angry and his wife is a barrister so you need to ask this question like are we okay are you okay with going to the same church because this church thing is always a problem or are you okay with us attending um, church together then about this church again you need to ask questions like are you okay with us going together in the same vehicle or sitting together in, in church because there are some people there's one man his wife is sitting here is the husband is sitting here the children are sitting separately so and then maybe one of them might not be okay with it but you know it's something that they didn't have any discussion about it so you need to ask are you okay with all sitting separately in church are you okay with going for morning mass why i go for evening mass someone like me my view on how i grew up is that we need to go for mass together as a family so i will ask how to ask my, uh, my husband to be if he's okay with us going to church together you need to know about your family your their family background their childhood trauma their addiction you need to know your partner's addiction if the person is addicted to pornography you know it's something that if the person is addicted to masturbation it's something that you should you should be open to discuss about it so that the person does not feel somehow you tell your partner i'm addicted to this thing i'm addicted to masturbation i'm addicted to um pornography you know something that if it's if it requires something that you and your partner provide the other time they watched banky w on his youtube he said he was struggling with um watching of pornography which his wife helped him through praying and all of that do you understand you have to be open-minded discuss with your partner that this is something that is bothering me i'm addicted to so 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 and so i'm addicted to porn i'm addicted to masturbation i'm addicted to threesome do you get so you tell your partner your your past trauma if you are traumatized if you were raped before or something that you need to discuss that is affecting your sexual life you need to tell your partner ahead it's something that you need to ask you know ask your girl like have you had um an abortion before do you understand because in case of any complication during pregnancy you, your partner needs to know your history to do get so you need to ask if the person um has some trauma you know childhood trauma if their family if it's coming from a, a domestic violent home you know some people's family background affects how they behave do you understand someone who is coming from a domestic violent home is likely to have some trends and needs therapy if some people are supposed to go for therapy together you can go for therapy together are you okay with intertribal marriage are you okay with um joint accounts we joining accounts together um ask the number of kids you're supposed to have yeah because if you have a particular gender maybe let's say you have only female what would be your reaction are you okay with just having female if you have only male children are you going to be okay with you or will you force me to have up to 10 children in order for me to give you a female child or a male child another thing is you like freshly cooked meals do you like uh, are you of the opinion that your money is your money and my money is my money you know are you a traditional man or uh, you want a, oh you are a modern man traditional man in the sense that you like submission and you be the man to provide and we while your wife should not provide in your home do you like makeup 
because some people will get married to someone who is doing makeup like me now you know come and say i don't like makeup but you saw me with all of this makeup you did not tell me anything so i need to know your view about makeup do you like natural do you like artificial like makeup and um, bbl and um, nails you know you need to know another thing is that do you like birthdays anniversary celebrating wedding anniversary there are some people that don't like celebration you don't celebrate birthday they don't celebrate valentine you need to know if the person is, is the type that celebrates or like or celebration so as the person if the person have a terminal illness you need to know if the person is suffering from cancer diabetes it has fibroid or anybody that has um hypertension um any other sickness that you have you need to ask do you have any sickness you What's your genotype? You need to know the person's genotype, blood group, and all family history. If there's a mental case and all of that in your family, you need to know. So, I hope these questions have been nice to you.